Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Luis here, Green Zebra Gardening. Um, I'm doing an unboxing and hopefully building of the Subpod planter, uh, deluxe planter with the trellis and everything for your patios. It comes with a Subpod mini so you can compost in place. I wanted to show something for my small space growers. My garden is not necessarily that big and now I have the secondary space with the community garden plot, but I still want to do something for like home gardeners and small space gardeners anyway they sent this out to me the video is not sponsored but i joined their affiliate program i'll leave all the links down below and as a gift to starting being in the program or being accepted they sent me out this one uh, i could have chosen the bed that you know goes in the garden itself with the double i guess the double wide um sub -hot, the bigger sub -hot, but I wanted something small because honestly, I don't know where the heck I'd put that thing anyway. This one I think is going to be hard enough. I have a space in mind and I'm like crossing my fingers and toes and everything to make sure that she is going to fit in that space. No, I haven't measured, but I do have a secondary and probably a third space or third tertiary space where um, it might be able to go without it uh, having to move 10,000 things. Anyway, I'm going to sit you guys up on a time lapse. We're doing the unboxing. Um, and hopefully building right in here. I think it comes with wheels so I can put on it And so then that way I can wheel it over to wherever I need to but for now. That's it. Let's go So, that's a sub pod mini. That's what's going inside the planter. That I know how to build because it's pretty easy. I didn't look at the instructions. Whether I don't know if you could tell on that in that time lapse. Basically, just open them up like a box. Put in the middle pieces to hold it together, and your worm blanket. That's really it. Uh, I just did this. If you've been watching on the channel, if you've been watching the channel, I'll link them below. Uh, I just did a series on. Watch, well, it's not really serious, it's only two videos of how I installed two of these at the community plot. I already had one. I was installing it, I realized I needed a second one, so I bought a second one. It's only been maybe a couple weeks at the, at the plot. Reached out to them. They, I'd been sending them pictures of the whole process of doing it at the plot. I, signed, I asked them about their affiliate program, they sent me the link, I signed up. And so this is what I requested as far as like the opening gift or the opening bonus or starting bonus or I don't know what you call it. Anyway, so that part is easy. That part is done. This stuff, so these are the boards that are going to go on the outside of the bed. There's two shelves. Um, they sent like I said, they sent me the deluxe bundle, like the high-end one, and so it comes with everything. This one is the liner that goes on the inside of the bed so the wood lasts longer, although this... Um, the wood is treated in the Japanese style of Shoshugi Bond, where basically you char it and it helps preserve the wood. Um, they didn't do it completely black, but that's the same process. This is actually the greenhouse that's going to go on top of the planter, which I think is actually pretty cool. So when I've got stuff going on that I want to grow, I can just do this outside, give it some kind of protection, and I know it's going to send up to the elements because it's a greenhouse plastic. We also have, this is the netting. I wonder if I'm going to use this as the, um, if I can use this as a shade cloth type thing. Cause that would be nice. Cause the place I'm thinking of might end up putting it, gets a lot of sun. Anyway, this is the trellis. I love that it's ute. It is, I'm guessing, decompostable. I do like that it's extra thick though. So that means it'll last more than one season. So this is the same kind of stuff you can buy at Home Depot. The rolls for like five, six dollars, I think. But this is much thicker. So this is going to last you a whole season. Those are the ones that don't always last you the whole time. That's part of the bed. We've got the frame over here. I think that's it. So we have the boards to make up the bed itself. The shape, the shelves. The liner for the inside where the soil and the subpod mini is going. The trellis, uh, the essentially the shade cloth protection from you know bugs and stuff uh the netting oh and it comes with casters which i love 
So that was my other question. Uh, how much of a pain in the butt is it going to be to move around? But it comes on casters. As far as the packaging, it is a lot of cardboard. They package everything pretty much individually, even those guys. But because it is cardboard, you can break it up and you can put it directly into your worm bin. Don't want to put all that cardboard in at once, but you can cut it up, put it into your compost, or put it into the worm bin. Uh, there is tapes, and so you can go through and take off the tape. But pretty much everything, oh, and except for the plastic, the yellow plastic that goes around, that was on the sub pod bin, but that's so it stays closed. That and some rubber bands. Everything else looks pretty eco conscious, it looks pretty good. You do have the plastic on the wheels, but. It's a, I can't even imagine. Even the screws, even the bags with the screws, they're paper. And they did include some gloves. So I don't know if these are meant to be used to put it together or just guarding in general. I do, ha oh, I do have the, um, I want to call it, I want to call it an auger, but it's not the aerator. I have that inside. I didn't bring that out. I've already put that one together. It's a couple pieces. Anyway, so. I don't see any actual instructions for the bed per se but for the planter itself but i know that they have a youtube video on how to put it together i know because i watched it the other day so i'm going to go back and watch that and if i remember correctly it goes through each individual piece puts it together for the main mod bed because you can do just the bed itself by itself you don't have to get all the extra accessories they just happen to send me all the accessories so i gotta go through each one of those videos to confirm as to how i'm gonna do it um but let me go ahead and go watch that video refresh my memory put it together when we come back at least the mod bed portion of itself should be done and then that way we can start uh, messing with it i can show you what what's going on all right so i've got the mod bed itself built put in the liner in the bed we're gonna have that thing right in the middle and so we're gonna be able to plant on the side and on the side the back i used this video peter was awesome i had to go back and add a couple more things because i really wasn't paying all that much attention but he does a very good job of explaining it again i'll link that video below if you do end up getting this at this mod bed or if you just want to see how easy it is to build uh before buying anyway so oh i have the wheel locks on that's why it's not moving but it does have wheels so i love that um i went with his suggestion and just put the sub pod board in the middle these are three separate boards three individual boards they get screwed in just the top board um so far it's really freaking cool um again you gotta follow his directions specifically because if not then you're gonna have to end up taking it apart don't don't ask me how i know all right so i got the trellis on in the back has a shelf on the bottom everything there we have a compost bin or the worm bin and that's pretty much it fits in there I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to fill in the bed, figure out what I'm going to plant. And I might actually pull it out a tiny bit more this way. That way the trellis itself isn't touching the wall. Um, anyway, fill it with soil. Get the, uh, get the worm bin itself going. And I think that's pretty much it, but I think we're going to leave it there. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Alright guys, well that does it for this video. Go ahead and hit the bell notification, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Um, I'm going to go and finish off that install. I got it built. Uh, I followed the videos and I followed the instructions. The main video for building the actual mod bed was on the Subpod YouTube channel. Um, and then everything else, I mean it was really just a trellis and the actual metal frames that go around it i'm still gonna play around possibly with the um with the netting for protection but i'm just worried that it might get too hot in there but overall it's done once i get it planted uh i'll probably just include it in part of one of the other videos or i may actually uh do it as a separate video but right now it is too hot uh to be doing anything so i will catch you guys on the next one peace